So over the past few months of doing video, I've learned a few lessons that I feel like are valuable, not only to other creators, but just to anyone in general. So today in this video, I just wanted to kind of go over some of them and hope that it can help anybody else dealing with the sort of the same thing and whatever journey they're in. So stay tuned. What's going on guys, this is Gabe from Victory Visions Media. Um, today I just wanted to go over a few lessons that I've learned in my short time of doing video and hopefully help others um, going through their own situations. Uh, I really just wanted to cover this topic just to kind of go over on what I did wrong and um, things that I'm taking away and using to better my business and my brand moving forward. So I'm not going to waste too much time, so I'm going to get into it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will put timestamps below uh, in the description so you can see each point and jump to them if you need to. So starting with number one, uh, I realized that I just need to have a plan and figure out when my best times are to create and when I'm the most productive. I realized for me that times in the morning, it's like right when I get up, work out, shower, and then straight to creating because it's just a time for me when there's a lot less distractions and things like that going on. So I found it's more important that I go ahead and create early on um, because if not, then I just let other things get in the way and distract me of things. I also do, I, I write down my schedule and I time it based on just how much time I think it's gonna take. So I might put on my, like I have a little whiteboard uh, on the walls here but I'll put like 30 minutes of responding to people on social media and that's like the dead stop after 30 minutes then I have to move on to something different and just keeping my time like that has really helped me just stay on task and give myself a time period of all right you have to focus heavy on this one thing and then after that you can move to something different and so I think that's really helped me um, in my scheduling and just getting an idea of how I want to do things so that was a big uh, realization for me is just like knowing, okay, I have to get up in the morning and do what I have to do. That's most important, do it in the morning. So there's no distractions, no, you know, this person needs me, phone calls, scrolling to social media, all that gets out of the way because if you think about it right when you wake up, then it'll get done. My second biggest thing is finding my own way of communicating and how I communicate best. Um, there's a lot of times when I just miss certain calls or certain uh, times to talk to people just because I was personally not able to communicate at that time. And I realized that the best way for me to communicate is just text and emails. Um, I'm not a big fan of calling and I just realized that, that just people trying to call me at certain times, is, you know, whether I'm running around at work or I'm, you know, shooting a video, it's just text is always the best option for me. So um, finding a system of how to get communication out to people and letting people know how I best communicate is probably the best thing um, that I realized I need to learn to do. I'm still trying to figure out how to get stuff sort of automated in that um, if someone asks me a price for a video or someone needs to know certain information, being able to get that out to them without me having to necessarily look at it, just whether it's on my Instagram or my website, just somehow finding a way to automate certain things that you already kind of repeat the same answers to i think is really um a good thing to think about doing and something that i'm gonna try to do even more of is just try to get automated systems in so that i don't have to keep responding to the same questions or the same information if i already know i'm gonna get the same exact answer to no matter who it is my third thing is i learned that i need to get more comfortable with being uncomfortable and you hear a lot of motivational speakers and um, big athletes and actors, whoever, say that sort of thing all the time, but I realized it and things that made me uncomfortable have actually been some of the best opportunities that I've had. This is one of those things like, I know at one point, I mean, my first assist game that I ever did, I was super nervous and I was, you know, considering going back and not even doing it and all that sort of thing. So I think it was a, a big experience for me to realize like, if it makes you uncomfortable, that means it's worth it. That means it's a growing experience. So another thing that I learned was that I'm gonna make mistakes and that I can't beat myself up over those mistakes. Um, I've had a, a lot over just my year and a half, I think even less than a year and a half of doing this. 
Um, one big one was I had a project done, had a couple projects that were on uh, getting ready to be done. And all I had to do was go home and take it off and it was ready to upload. And it was something that I, you know, I was really proud of and wanted to share, but I lost the memory card and still haven't found it to this day. Um, and it's one of those things like, you know, I was mad about it. I was, you know, throwing stuff around, trying to find it. I just couldn't. And I just had to make a mental note of it and revisit my process of how I edit because before I was editing stuff off the memory card. So it was like, if I didn't have the memory card plugged into the computer, then I didn't have the project at all. Um, so I learned that there's a better way of doing it from that. Um, there's another time was missed some big shots and there were big moments um, in basketball uh, in particular. Uh, I know I missed a couple of dunks that were like crazy. Like I missed one, it was like a poster dunk that I don't know, I was fumbling around with my battery or something like that and I just missed it completely. And I looked up and the crowd's going wild and people are like, oh man, did you get that, did you get that? You know, cause that's the first thing when a big play happens, people ask the camera guy like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, did you get it, did you get it? Please missed it, bro, sorry. You know, so I've had a couple of those moments. Um, I remember in Williamsburg at the Unity, in the community game, missed a uh, half court shot at the end, I think right before halftime of the game, or it was even at the end of the game, one of those. But, you know, the, the final uh, buzzer went off and I just kind of put my camera down, just thinking, you know, going buzzer to buzzer, just go ahead and put it down, it's whatever. Pressure's just gonna throw up the shot and it's gonna go wherever but it actually went in same thing everybody's looking at me like oh what you get you get it i was like nah you know what i'm saying i put my camera down the buzzer i thought it was done so that's a big lesson that i learned too is just like you know now i know like all right always keep filming until everybody's walking back to the bench because you never know what you might miss and then with the other moment it was just like make sure you're always recording and stop fumbling around with stuff and always be ready i'm gonna, I'm gonna roll two of these together um, is avoid perfectionism and don't compare yourself to others. For me, you know, you want as a creator of anything, whether it's art, video, photo, uh, whatever you do, you want the best product, the perfect product uh, in your eyes. And sometimes it holds you back. And I realized that sometimes it was just holding me back, whether I'm sitting on an edit forever and not want to put it out because I got to tweak this, I got to tweak that but there comes a time when you just gotta put it out and just you know let it be that. There's been stuff that I've done and been like, man, this is whack. This is, you know, took, it didn't take much time to put my thought into it and you know, people go crazy over it. I look at it like that, it's like, your opinion of it is gonna be different from everybody else's. So you sitting on it, not doing anything is gonna hold you back ultimately. And um, you know, I just think about it like a rapper or any kind of musician, it's like you, sit on a song forever, wait until it's perfect, and then you put it out anyway after a month, and people was like, man, this song's whack. So it's like, but some of our favorite songs, you know what I'm saying, artists be like, oh yeah, you know, I only took like four to five minutes on that song, and it's the best song ever. So it's kind of like, you can't decide for yourself that what you do, I mean, of course, put your all into it, but at the same time, at some point, you gotta just let it go. And then with that, not comparing myself to others has been a big thing for me because I mean, a lot of guys I follow, man, some really good creators. And, you know, I look at their stuff and look at my stuff and like, man, I gotta get like that before I put this out. And, you know, he's doing this, this effect, this shot, that kind of stuff. And I will hold on to stuff thinking that I can't put it out until it's as good as this guy. But, you know, same thing. It's just everybody has their opinions on different things and everybody's style is different. Everybody's taste is different. So, you know, you just gotta be confident in yourself. And that's what I realized that I gotta be confident in myself and understand like, it's okay, you know? So this is the last and final thing, but probably the most important is knowing my value. I can tell us that anybody that's doing any kind of side hustle, business, whatever, is know your value. Like for me, it took me a while to, it, it, and I'm still struggling with that a little bit now, but it's just like, know what kind of value you bring and what you do and what kind of time you put into something. You know, I've had people come to me and like ask for free this, free that, you know, I tell them my price and then they just dip on me, which is fine. And I realized that is like, 
If they don't see it, then just let them go. And for all my creators out there, you should do the same. Like if, if people don't see the value in the price you give them for the price for the work that you do, just let them walk. I mean, I've I'm at this point like I don't mind letting people walk. If I tell them my price and they don't hit me back afterwards, like, you know, because I know what kind of videos I do and I know what kind of reactions and results it'll get once it's out. I know what I'm worth and I know that I'm continuing to go up. My prices reflect that. So uh, for anybody out there, you know, if you're a basketball coach, if you're a um, designer, know your value and don't let anybody try to convince you otherwise. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Kind of wanted to just share of those things again not only just for creators but anybody really doing their own thing if you all like it please let me know uh, i'm gonna try to do a lot more on youtube and igtv please subscribe to my youtube channel so see y'all next time